another day, another shopping trip. Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I've been shopping again. Lola's very excited about that. I've been to Tesco again and picked up a few bits from B&M. Cheaper this time, it was 52.64. So, let's have a look at what I got this time. I got some of the Tesco sponges, which I think were 49 pence. They were 40 pence. More, yet more squares for Richard, £1.50 each. Just a something for Chloe. I don't like Kit Kats. £1 for four Kit Kat chunkies. £1.70 for more croissants. Cra croissants, I never know how to say that. some all butter scones. I think they were they a pound. And you can see there they are 50 pence off. Pepperonis. Three lots of those. It's my lot much through them like there's no tomorrow. I think they were on special offer with the club card as well. Yeah. Can't work that out. £1.40 each. Is that right? I've got three lots. And our chocolate. £1.25. It's so weird because it doesn't do it or oh, 95 pence there. When you do the scan as you shop, it doesn't always it doesn't put it in the same order as what you've scanned it on the receipt. Because I think that was the first thing that I put in the basket. Yeah, it's not first on the list. Right, next bag from Tesco's. Frazzles, 99 pence. Two of those. Got more meat for Lola, two, four, three pounds. I don't know, I'm buying the dog roast beef. What am I like? Um, some cream, because I'm going to whip that up to have with the scones. This was on special offer as well, fruit and barley. I think that was a pound. It was on special offer. It should have been 165. And it was a pound. I got some easy cook basmati rice. Basmati, basmati, I don't know how you say it. How much was that? £1.60. I got two Cathedral Cities. They were uh, one seventy-five each or two for £3. Tropicana. I won't bother getting these out of the bag. Some Tropicana big pack which was It should, it should have been £3.30, but there was £1.30 off with your club card, so it was £2. And the milk was £1.50. So that's that bag. 
and now on to just a few frozen and meat bits. Just got one of these. It's they're only 65 pence, and it's all right if I'm ever in the mood that I can't be bothered and just want something quick and easy. I've got some sausage rolls for Tom. Can't remember how much they are. Although we are one pound fifty-five. Some steam fresh veg. Again another thing I can just bung in the microwave if I have a steak and then don't fancy chips or rice or anything else with it. There we are that they were one pound seventy five. Got some more potato croquettes. Sixty 9 pence and then I just got some more salmon for Tom £3.25 2 steaks I've got one of each sirloin and a ribeye 2 for £7 and some more chicken breast fillets £5 I think Oh no, £3.50, I got the smaller pack. Oh, listen to that. Right, I've got a couple of bits still from Tesco because I ran out of room in the bags. So two, again, I don't think these it says medium, but to me that's tiddly diddly. 75 pence. Two packets of quick fingers. 16 bars, two pounds. That, that by 16 it means the individual fingers, they're individually wrapped. And to go with the scones and cream I just got some of their own strawberry jam which I think was 28 pence on to B and M got my receipt here we're starting painting the bedrooms and doing the bedroom swap this week so I got two packs of these Polythene dust sheets. So the camera's having a bit of a dilemma with the focus. Mm -hmm. so two of those. They were two ninety nine for a packet. I've got some hand wash, which was. Big ketchup, £2.79. Some Lenore scent boosters. I don't think we've tried Ruby Jasmine yet, £2.99. A scrub mummy. I've booked That was £2.49. I thought I'd give that a go. Three pack of massage sponges, 89 pence. I got, I haven't tried this one before, Orchard Pear Zoflora. I think that was 1.99. Um, just a multi pack of brushes for painting, three pounds fifty. Ten brushes in there. Pink stuff. £2.49 Hardback book for Chloe £2 She'll like that because she likes colourful things Some 
industrial strength refuse sacks because we're going to be going to the tip as well this week doing a bit of a clear out so they'll come in handy 89 pence for this tropical rainforest an exotic papaya shower gel and I don't know what this smells like but the label sort of caught my eye Evening Jewel, Spotless Kitchen, Fabulosa Disinfectant Spray. So looking forward to using that. And that was everything. This is the first bedroom that we're going to be painting. So my middle daughter's moved out of this room. She's taken her stuff apart from the wardrobe and a mattress. You can see here, this is where she had like a big desk here. So that's what that marks, those marks are there. Yeah, it's quite a nice big room, this one. Chloe's decided she wants to have this room. So we're going to get this painted. I've got my sheets to put over this wardrobe Livia left this behind Chloe's already partly moved in sorry the light's not very good in here so I'll get this covered up this is like really solidly secured to the wall. The paint here ready. I've got three tins here. There's a big one there and here I've got two smaller ones. These were all from the online decorating centre I think and they're mixed. To you, when you order them they get mixed and this is zero odour paint, so it's suitable for in children's bedrooms. Eco-friendly, safe, durable. But, um, I know this one over here, I think it is sugar almond or something like that. This nice big tin here. But two of these are going to be for up here. And that's probably going to be end up in my room, this one. So I'm going to move. I don't know how much of a mess this next room is. Club is sort of half moving her stuff out. Oh gosh. Yeah. Um, There's quite a lot to do in here, but this is the room that Richard's going to be moving into. I'm not going to put his bed here. I'm going to put his bed over there because he's rather fond of sticking his head out the window. Yeah, I think we need to make it a bit more of a boy's room. So I have got some red paint. He chose red as his colour. I'm not sure about the wardrobe yet, whether I'm keeping it here or moving it down to what will become my room. I made lots of mistakes when I was putting this together. Oh, that's 
recommend them. Well, there's even some of Richard's drawing. It looks like he's half moved in already. Some of his drawings on the stuck on the wardrobe. That's why the light's really strange in here. So that will be the next task. So all of this is going to be moving into this. Gosh, there's just so many toys. 